Uh, anyways, we're going to be seeing Lemon T from New Jersey square off against Vivi. Um, and I do believe I've seen these two actually play quite a bit at some New Jersey weeklies. Um, New Jersey is like, like, Vivi is like also like known for coming to some New Jersey weeklies like DNA and just like taking the whole thing, um, just invading. But right now we're just going to be seeing them get some straight hits here and there. Not really doing much each other right now, they're just dancing around one another. But Vivi is able to get the down tilt into dash attack. A really, really just like good amount of percent and also net some stage control. Setting up for the, um, for the tech chase. And Vivi positioned himself in such a way where he would just like get so much punish off of attack inwards. Um, and didn't really care about the fact that you know, he knew chill tech, like he wouldn't get anything out of it. But that jab lock F smash just it deleted Lemon T. So he's like gone. Disappeared before his eyes. Um, I don't think that was intentional on Vivi's part to side B like that. He had nothing to gain from it. Uh, not entirely sure about the intent. Yeah, it was it was definitely a misinput. But Vivi, like, when you have a character like Lucario losing a stock or two, you know, does it, it sounds a little bit cliche to say, and you know it is cliche to say, but, you know, operating from a the stock this, like, deficit is where you want to be sometimes, because you want to net those kills. Oh my god, what a read to get that F smash. VV is, a, I want to say that VV is a little bit in Lemon T's head right now. Right now, oh my god, Lemon T's just like pacing back and forth with dash attack, and VV just going to find himself getting hit by, uh, by one of those. And right now, VV has to find some sort of way to get back onto center stage, but Lemon T was not in the position of like, time or just like mindset to be able to punish a roll spot dodge. Both of them like jumping, trying to follow each other, chase each other, chase each other down a little bit, uh, perhaps. Lemon T going through the mix up there. I like it because of the fact that he goes unpunished for it. Um, but ultimately, VV still finds himself. Um, I can't even say that anymore because VV no longer finds himself. VV finds himself losing the stock there. That is going to be the up tilt. He's unable to find the up air afterwards. He tried to net a kill with the, um, I believe, down B is double T. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good, because if a person is just sitting there and reflecting, and you're drifting downwards from the air, worst comes to worst, they'll just reflect it, right? But Vivi just, like, caught him being a little bit too antsy with that button, and I don't think he had enough time to react and press down B again. Um, right now, Vivi is on his last stop. You know what that means? Aura, Rage. Oh, oh it's, getting, it's getting a little bit... It's a little, ever so slightly spooky, because all dil all that VV really needs is just to win one or two neutral exchanges. That's going to be the up throw, but unfortunately not at high enough of a percent to be able to connect that into a forward or, or an up air. So you get 100 percent. <gasps> ah, what? Oh, wait, what are you going to happen? How did he even get the KO animation? What's going on? This is fine. That's a side B. And he's dead. He's dead. That's what happens when you let V look at VV smiling a little bit too chatly. He was like he gave himself like a little like a little like I can't believe that VV came back from that. You know, he was at hundred percent. Lemon T was like sitting at like thirty. And then he almost dies to an F smash, but then a side B. But you know what? That's the nature of Lucario. That's how it happens. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's how, um, I guess, the aura spheres. I don't know any more verbs or adjectives to throw in there. Regardless, going into game two, Lemon T has to be really, really, really patient when he gets those parries off. Because when VV um, overextended that one time, he went for a dash grab after the parry, and I think from that moment onwards, that just like sort of set his, like, that like set his fate, because that should have been the stock from that point onwards.
starting right now, now he's starting to get a couple of like really nice punishes out of the parry, but it's not able to follow up into anything. Lucario, of course, having one of the safest neutral airs. Um, it's very, very fast, and it's very, very safe on shield. It can be as safe as minus two, um, which really doesn't give anybody enough time to do anything. Ooh, I really love those empty hops from Lemon Tea because he's just like waiting for the to overextend with something. And as he drifts backwards, he could perhaps land like a falling forward or something. VV was trying to call out an impatient full hop from Lemon Tea with that back air. Uh, but as a result, he gives up a lot of stage for it. Uh, VV has to be so careful that he's actually not missing those techs because otherwise that's going to be a down smash. But VV, thinking that his up B had a hit a big enough of a hitbox to be able to contest with Wolf's down smash. I think he went a little bit too far, and instead of landing on top of Wolf, he only landed into the uh, secondary hit of the down smash. Yeah, that Aura Sphere has very little priority. It's just gonna clank with, uh, with the dash attack there. What just happened? Devin, can I get a replay on that, please? A I little clipped bit later. it, I got you. Thank you. What? Okay. L regardless, uh, Vivi needs to find a way to clutch out Lemon Tea stock. Uh, he's only able to get the secondary hit of the Force Palm, but the charge into Aura Sphere into Up Air, very, very reliable and very potent, too. Right now, Vivi's going to be looking for a Falling Neutral or something of the like, just to get a little, little, just to get a little something, something started. And right now, VV is slowly but surely bringing this game back. Lamenti is choosing to pace it a little bit slowly, but that one overextension from dash attack could be the end of his stock. VV doesn't go for the two frame or anything, instead choosing to opt for a ledge trap. Getting back to it, both at uh, close percentages right here. VV taking all this time and advantaging here. Yep. And Mario's, uh mechanics. Of rage and you just saw it. Ooh. Now that's something you have to be really, really mindful of. When you are recovering against somebody that has a two frame option, you have one of two options. Either you will stall safely or you will go directly to ledge. Because when you have a character like Lucario who can bounce off of the edges of the stage, as you are traveling upwards to bounce, the down smash can hit you honestly. And that's not even a two frame, that's just like you getting hit by it. But VV, like once again being called out for these really impatient down Oh, nah. no, wait, wait. Not, uh, not enough to take it. He does not have not enough percent. Enough percent. Lemon tea he's living by the skin of his teeth in these situations. Oh, there you go. That's what good. He just landed a dare one into a side B. That was really sick. But that is a oh. charge. Oh, oh. Lemon T's getting impatient. He needs to get back to stage patiently. I love that beefy up B though. Just throwing out an extra hitbox on top of Eevee that he has to worry about. Oh. You don't want to give Lucario more than what he, you know, can kill you with here. So yeah. you got to be careful how you place your buttons from here. DV was over a little bit. He just like... Oh really, no, really almost caught him. Oh boy. Very scary situation right now. Maybe we can take it off one interaction. That's it. Oh! Uh, no, no, no. He was spaced a little bit too close to the edge of the hand. He, and he got popped up the right, wrong way. Right, yeah. Both in there. Really, really nice recovery. I like that. He was just not risking anything. Ooh, not gonna nice get punished for that. Vivi's looking for the back air, but right no. now Lemon T can take this with anything he wants to as well. Vivi can just shoot him too, so he's gotta be careful. Dash attack. Ah, ah! Right there! Lemon T has to be mindful of that. It's still three out of five. Now, is it's all of losers top eight best of five? Or all of top, top eight, eight is best of five. Okay. Oof, but, what a game. <laughs> yeah, Vivi seems to be like really, really dominant. I want to say that he has like a really good handle on what Lemon T does in disadvantage. He is like getting his confirms done pretty reliably as well. Um, moving on into game three, a potential 3-0 on Vivi's end. Vivi's uh, patience and uh, play carries him you know, in these situations where. Yeah. You gotta find a character that's like a wall, good buttons. 
But like, you have you keep your confirmed solid enough that you can kill him and not be worried. Yeah. You know what? And what I kinda wanna see from Lemon Tea is just like a mix up on his timings for his strings. Cause this is like the fourth time I seen him try to land like a falling forwarder into a grab and DB having enough time to spot dodge. And just like I just wanna see Lemon Tea to start to adapt to that a little bit. Now with that Lemon Tea has to like not like overextend his advantage or get hit on situations where he just needs yep. to be getting hit. Like last game, where in the last stock situation, we came back and just hit him like four times off stage and he ended up in a bad spot. Lemon Tea also misses punishes on Vivi's recovery as well, causing Vivi to come back, hit him off of his like Ooh. attempts, and then take advantage back from him. Wait, now Vivi's looking to set something up by the charge. Oh, right there? Oh, that one was cool. Yeah. Overcommitting to the option, they're gonna get hit with an up smash for it, of course, getting scooped up by the vertical, by the horizontal hitbox. And now, Lemon T has to be careful about how he is using those lasers again because a lot. I see like Vivi often like going for like a falling aerial into a shield or just perhaps a dash shield. He's just waiting for Lemon T to um, to just hit a shield with laser at this point. So Lemon T might just want to be a little bit more mindful of that. And I would like to see more grabs from Lemon T actually um, because Vivi has been like making so much use out of his shield. What? Jump like twice right there. <laughs> As Lemon T was forced into situations where he had to like guess from Vivi. Ooh, Ooh, the down smash? Nope. Almost taking it. But. Oh, he's, he got so scared of it that he just flew the other way. <laughs> so I think Vivi is used to having a higher percent when he uppies because so how Lucario's uppie works is the more damage you have, the longer he'll go, right? And so what Vivi. But it doesn't always go for. You. Even though it goes a longer distance, the time that it lasts is a little bit different. Um, so what Vivi was trying to do is he was trying to angle it back up towards the ledge. But wait a second. As oh, I was talking about Lucario's up B, Vivi brought it all the way back. Whoa, that's whoa, the buddy. magical Lucario. If you're down like stocks, that's like rage plus right there. It's, it's crazy how he's kept this mechanic since Brawl. And it's only stronger in this game. It's the rules of the game. And Vivi noticing the situation, like, there's no such thing as a stock lead or percentage lead against Lucario when it comes to, like, the way That's Lucario the falling now. kills. Vivi's looking for him. Vivi is hungry. He's going for those falling neutralizers. He is moving around uh, all of Lemon T's, like, just, like, threat zones. Just making sure he's not getting hit. That's the game he's playing. Don't get hit. <laughs> Most basic advice in Smash. Don't get hit. <laughs> Really applies here in this matchup against Lucario, where you can die off any straight hit like here. That's the fourth go off the stage. The oh my god, what oh. a parry. He was trying He's to go through the first hit down air into the side B. That almost confirmed. That's going to be the fourth go off. Trying to roll back. Throw the classic. Nope. And oh. the fourth smash catch when you're landing. You've died at 70. Uh, all it takes. <laughs> One good hit. That's all you need. It's, that fourth smash is so huge, so, too. So, Vivi, I would like to see a little replay. On uh, on the, I mean, I will. Devin, did I just call you Vivi? You did, but <laughs> you the did. one from a while ago. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, lucky, <laughs> lucky. So take a look at it. Vivi gets knocked around a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go off stage, and then what happens here? Whee! What? What? What happened? <laughs> Yeah, after seeing that, I am now confident that I have no clue what happened. <laughs> it's just the multi-hit. Yeah, because he jumped uh, after getting hit by the two, so it was a slip.